Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's the Nutcase as always, back again with the shenanigans here on the Nutcase Network, you guys. Welcome back. I hope you guys are doing amazingly well. This is your Monday motivation. Yes, I know. We're back again. Let's see what is going on with you guys this week. Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, father and mother God, thank you so much. For your love and your support. Thank you so much for blessing myself and my subscribers with all of this beautiful energy that I know that we are in. Thank you for having mercy on us, God, and allowing us to see what we need to do to live our best lives. Y'all, I have been out there, you know, no tea. There's no tea, but you know. I have been living, I've been outside, okay? Let's just put it like that. I've been outside and I have been enjoying my motherfucking self, okay? <laughs> Make it clear, I've been outside, all right? Today is a rather rainy day. I hope the water doesn't start coming in this window because then I'm gonna have to close it. But let's see what's going on, you guys. I hope you guys have been outside too. I hope you guys have been living y'all's best lives. Be sure to check out Pisces Tarot, which is my second channel. For any of you guys who, ooh, for any of you guys who might have Pisces in your chart, what happened there? How did the cards get flipped over like that? Look at this foolishness. Okay, I'm just, I'm just waiting for the okay, the go ahead. I think that was it. Okay. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you have not done so already, my loves. <laughs> you know, because it's real shit over here. I mean, everybody's real in their own way, but I'm real in my special way, so subscribe. See what the girl is about. One more time. Why do I feel like I keep needing to shuffle? I feel like there's something that you guys are not necessarily ready for, but that you're going to have to do anyway. Like, let's see. Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, father, mother, God. What is my collective's energy this week? What is their overall energy? How are they going to be feeling energetically within their soul, within their spirit? Okay, the thinking woman. All right, interesting. Number 47. And at the bottom, what is this? Ooh, patience. Number 16. All right. Ooh, Collective, y'all are contemplating something, especially if you are in your feminine energy. There is something that you're thinking about. There's something that you're contemplating. And I feel like you're trying to be patient about it. You're trying to weigh out your options. Um, you're trying to stay balanced within your decision making. Okay. But you are definitely thinking heavily about something. I feel like you have a lot of ideas that are flowing in right now. So I definitely feel like you need to take advantage of them. But we have the thinking woman. Female of wisdom or understanding. Okay. This card shows a woman holding a book. Standing before a staircase. Ready to lead you to higher understanding. This woman could be a friend. Who helps your. Sorry. Who helps you. Let me turn the page. Express and understand your feelings. So a woman who helps you express and understand your feelings. Or she could be a teacher. Brought to to your life at this time to take you in a new direction. This could also be a new love interest with a woman who is thoughtful, conscious, and aware. Or like the thinking man, the card could represent a side of yourself that's ready to blossom and bring clarity and assistance in assist, assistance to the world. Lord, if so, find your voice and let your wisdom shine. So I'm over here stuttering and shit. I feel like, okay, I feel like for my feminine energies, I feel like you are this thinking woman. And I feel like, honestly, that you are enlightening people, okay? I feel like there is some enlightenment or awakening that you are bringing to other people in your life that you might not even realize, okay? My my little shake is like dripping everywhere, but we're going to figure it out. I feel like, okay, feminines, you are bringing enlightenment to someone's life. It's like you're making, you're making people look at, life from a different perspective all right and for my masculines i feel like you have a feminine energy coming into your life who is doing this for you okay looking at things from different perspectives transforming okay with the butterfly transforming your thoughts 
I feel like they're, I feel like feminines, you're also more patient, okay? I feel like you're definitely weighing your options on a new idea. I do feel like a lot of my feminines are ready to blossom in their particular line of business. Their specialty is ready to blossom. Okay, and my masculines, you're coming across a feminine energy like this. This week. You guys are meant to do something major in the world. There's something that you are meant to bring. It's like you're an angelic being and it's time, okay? With the patience card, I feel like the time is drawing near or the time has come. For some of you, everybody, remember the messages are general, okay? They may not be for everyone. And also remember that time is fluid. So there's a conclusion that's being drawn or there's... um. There's a conclusion to your life or a situation that is drawing very near, which is going to open up the doors to a new beginning. Okay. And my feminines, I feel like you all are definitely causing someone to have a new understanding about life or it's like you're causing somebody to look at life from a different perspective. That's what I'm getting. Interesting energy. You turning somebody out, feminines. I don't know who this person is. But I feel like you you either turn them out or you turning them out this week. Okay? You you're making you you said something that made somebody think about themselves and their life in a different way. Not I'm not sure what you said, but or you're going to say something this week that is going to cause someone to look at their life, look at their life's trajectory and look at like their emotions, okay, in a different way from what they usually do. All right, let's see where your energy focus needs to be this week. Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Where does my collective's energy focus need to be this week? Where should they be focusing their energy? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Really? Okay, show the world the real you. Luck is on your side. And a personal issue reaches re resolution. That's what I said. And my mouth is fucked up. So I feel like somebody is like having trouble speaking or... They get tongue-tied when they're around you. Maybe you get tongue-tied when you're in front of other people, pitching ideas. Um, when you're expressing yourself, you could definitely get tongue-twisted. Um, but I feel like you guys are starting to grow out of that. I feel like that's something that you could have dealt with as a child, like a speech impediment. Or there's someone who you're dealing with who dealt with this. But I feel like full moon in Aquarius, new moon in Sagittarius, full moon in Cancer. So, And then I see the patience card as temperance. The thinking woman I see as Virgo most of the time, you know, so I feel like the energies that we have here is strong Sagittarius, Virgo, Aquarius and Cancer. But your spirit guides, your the universe, God, whoever you believe in wants you to be yourself. OK, your energy focus this week needs to be on being yourself, showing the world who you truly are, you know, giving people like full frontal. <laughs> All right. Don't hold anything back because I feel like with this Sagittarius energy, luck is on your side. I feel like whatever you do this week um, that consists of you living in your truth, like whatever you're doing this week where you can show your true colors and be yourself, that's when he, that's going to be something that yields you a lot of positive results either in your emotions or like literally physically in your life. Because I feel like... Um, there's something that's about to come to a head. Like I said earlier, I feel like there's an idea that's about to come to a head or there's some type of confusion about your future that you're about to have clarity on. OK, at the bottom, more Aquarius energy, bring love into the situation. OK, we also have a full moon in Pisces today. Hopefully this video doesn't take forever to upload, but, you know, we have a full moon in Pisces on the 20th, which is today. I don't know when you're going to watch the video. But I really feel like it's time to embrace um, creativity. It's time to gain clarity on what your creativity is at this time, you guys. And really, like, move on it. That's what I'm kind of feeling. Where are we going to go with this? Okay, we're going to just put that right there for right now. I didn't expect three cards to come out, quite frankly. But they did. Let's see what is your crystal to help you this week what is the crystal for my collective this week god um i'm 
hearing that Jasmine Sullivan song, Forever Don't Last. Forever doesn't last too long. Forever doesn't last too long. Forever doesn't last too long these days. Oh, and I try to believe that we can make it, but trying don't work. So I just have to say that forever doesn't last too long these days. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Look, I, listen. So I had high hopes for us, baby. Like I was on dope for us, baby. Chasing after a high that I would never get back again. Okay, so I feel like you could have spent like maybe three years or you could have spent like three months, three weeks. I don't know. You spent a significant amount of time collective trying to make forever with someone and it just wouldn't last. It wasn't meant to last. It just, it didn't start. It didn't work out or something like that. And it's like, you guys are finally, I feel like coming to terms with that. Okay, I feel like you guys are finally realizing that. And it's like, now it's to a point where you've gone through, I, I, I have a channel message that I'm going to be putting out, but it talks about the seven stages of grief. And I feel like your past, I, I don't know if anger is one of them, but I, I wrote them down, but I can't remember right off the top of my head right now. And I ain't finna get up, but um, I feel like there was a point where you were rather angry about something not lasting with someone, but you're past that. It's like, you have accepted what life is at this point, collective. And I feel that you are now it's like you're brainstorming about what's the next step. You're 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 taking stock of where you are and you're happy about where you are. But it's like now it's like, OK, now I'm ready to move forward. Now I'm ready to pursue my dreams. Now I'm ready to take a step out of the doorway of a new beginning like the fool card. And I feel like it's bittersweet, but it's also a situation where it's like, you know what you have to do. So it's like, you're not angry about it. You're not upset about it. You're just going to continue to move the way God tells you to move. All right. What is the crystal for my collective this week? Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, father, mother, God. What is the crystal that will help my collective? It's this one. Okay. Oh, Labradorite. See the magic. Mm. So I feel like this is about you seeing the magic within yourself and seeing the magic within other people that are involved in the situations that involve your life. There's magic all around us. At the bottom, we have soda light. Speak your truth. Wow. So you guys are being urged here by spirit this week to see the magic in speaking your truth. See how beneficial life can be or see how great things can be and turn out if you just be yourself. Okay, I'm really getting an energy of y'all needing to or desiring to be yourself this week as something that will, you know, help you get through whatever you're dealing with this week. I got to get this together because I didn't expect for three damn cards to come out. Hold on, y'all. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe because y'all know if this table get too much of a hot ass mess, then I'll be having a problem. Okay. Yeah, luck is on your side through speaking the truth. I feel like... God wants you to see the magic in being who you are and showing the world your, your true self. Don't think people are going to hate you. Don't think people are going to judge you. Don't think that you're going to get in trouble. Don't, don't feel like there's some bad thing that's going to happen when you speak your truth and you open up about who you truly are. Because if you think that something bad is going to happen, then that's what's ultimately, you know, <laughs> that's what you're bringing in. Okay. This full moon, I feel like, is a time for you to be manifesting positivity, like, within your emotions, okay? I really feel like this is a time to be manifesting um, emotional fluidity. Um, it's a time to be manifesting um, spiritual fluidity. I also feel like it's a time for you to manifest with Pisces the ability to embody every sign like the the ability to showcase all aspects of yourself because we all have pretty much you know for the most part every sign in our chart and if you're going to be like doing your spells or whatever your chants 
I feel like you should definitely focus on emotional fluidity. That's what I'm feeling. Okay. So that you can unblock the heart chakra and make sure that you are living the life that you want to live, that you love to live, that you see for yourself as something positive. Okay. What are the signs? What are the most important signs coming towards my collective this week, God? Who is it? What do you have? What do you have? Who do... <laughs> I'm so corny, y'all. I just, I don't know. I'm really enjoying being outside. I have to be honest with y'all. Like, I'm really enjoying being outside, okay? I've been meeting some interesting people, all right? So we have Mars in Leo as the first sign to come out, coming towards you. Who else is coming towards my collective? Who is this? Ascendant in Sagittarius. So somebody with Sagittarius rising. Keep in mind that these placements could also be your placements as well. Can I get a sun sign? I saw Aries at the bottom of the deck, Aries sun. Can I get a sun sign as well? Okay, so we have Mercury and Gemini. Thank you. Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors. What is the sun sign coming towards my collective this week? Can we get a sun sign? Maybe not. Okay, Mars and Pisces. All right. Who is this person? If their sun sign doesn't come out, it just may mean that they're not like really acting like their sun sign right now. They could be in different energy. Moon in Virgo, all right? Interesting. Who else? What other details can we have? Okay, Cancer rising. So no sun sign this time, y'all, but it's okay. Maybe you're not meant to know their sun sign, but we have Mars and Leo and Pisces. Ascendant or rising in Cancer and Sagittarius, Mercury and Gemini, and Moon in Virgo. All right. I feel like it could be an Aries sun or something like that, though, because I saw it earlier. Jupiter in Capricorn and Moon in Libra. Ooh. Who is this person? Who is this person? You know what? I want to use the Kipper deck first. Let's see. What's going on with my collective this week, God? Can you show me? Ooh, excuse me. Ooh, excuse me. I went to Burger King. I had to take my son to the dentist this morning, then take him to school. Then I went to Burger King and got some food, which I really don't want to eat Burger King. But I really had a craving for a Whopper. Like, I know it's bad, but whatever. And then I had to go to Walgreens and pick up their prescription. So I've been moving today. Dang. The wind just knocked my candle out. It just knocked out my candle with the two-piece. Come on now, wind. Let me put this window down a little bit because I ain't got time. Y'all know I like the aesthetic. Forever doesn't last too long. Forever doesn't last too long. Forever doesn't last too long these days. Uh oh. <laughs> Y'all know I'm goofy. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Ooh. Maybe you're looking at life as if, you know, things don't last forever. So y'all are kind of like calm, cool, and collected because you already you already know you already know the philosophy. Change is inevitable. So you could definitely be very at peace with yourself because of that. Okay. What's going on with my collective this week, guys? Can you show me what they'll be dealing with this week so that we don't have to be scared? Whoa, we could be prepared. Whoa, whoa, I know you motherfucking lying. This bitch, y'all saw the card flip like that and then it's going to turn out to be the thief card. Um, 24 is like six moving forward. I feel like you are coming back to yourself from dealing with someone who is stealing your energy, y'all. I really do, like... I'm seeing the six of wands, six of swords. I feel like you're moving on from someone who stole a lot of your time, energy, effort, money, you know, intellectual property, whatever. It's like they stole your spirit. They stole your energy. They stole your happiness. They really just were a thief in your life of physical and emotional and spiritual things. I feel like you, you, you are the victor though. I'm seeing the six of wands. Like, I feel like you were victorious against this person or against these people. Okay. And you're moving on from this thief. Okay, what else? Energy vampire. Yeah, ooh, occupation. 
number 34, okay, which is a seven. I feel like you're very, you're feeling very lucky when it comes to your job and your occupation. I feel like you have a lot of sparks of inspiration coming in, but I do feel like someone was trying to either steal your ideas or steal like your merchandise, okay? Some of you could have a storefront and you might have dealt with someone who was being a thief um, recently or someone who did not maybe pay their debts, okay? Well, that's kind of weird. What else? Mm. Somebody owes a debt to you. Yeah, main, main female, okay? I feel like somebody owes you a debt. Yeah. And I feel like whatever you're owed is about to be brought back to you with this sudden wealth. Another set of sevens on the card. Um, and, and the pathways card, which is more butterflies along with this thinking woman had a butterfly on the card. It's like, so I feel like somebody has owed you for a long time or like you maybe have felt as if you were owed something for a long time. But I feel like before when you felt like you were owed something, you were being a little entitled, okay? And I feel like now you're starting to do the work. Um, I feel like for a long time, some of you guys have been putting in a lot of energy, effort, and time into a business or a job or a career um, or just working on yourself. But I really feel like it's more so with your finances and with your career and business. You weren't doing the work though for a while. You were being a little complacent. You felt like entitled, okay? But now it's like, I don't know. I feel like suddenly, all of a sudden, things are going to come through for you guys, okay? Especially if you're in this feminine energy, okay? My masculines, you could definitely be meeting a feminine energy who is going through this, okay? And if you are, just keep in mind she was dealing with a thief. Yeah, somebody who was around. Look, look, sudden wealth is at the back now with false person. And great fortune is at the bottom with despair right after that. And you know, that's the gold digger card for me, even though it could just mean, you know, a young woman who's very taken care of the opposite of a wealthy man is a wealthy woman. But I feel like, um, even some of you masculines could have been dealing with someone who was very like, they were just around you for your money. Okay. Feminine or masculine. I don't care who you were. This person was stealing your energy. What's this thief card? journey oh my god they were trying to block your journey because it came out literally like this this person was trying to block you on your journey what's occupation they were trying to hold you back they were trying to like yeah oh my god sudden wealth and fucking false person again this could have been a business partner this could have been somebody who said they wanted to partner up with you and work with you this could have been someone even offering you a job that you thought was going to be good but then it turned out to be trash Okay, um, I feel like you're getting sudden wealth because of your business or your occupation. And there's someone around who's like trying to steal your energy or trying to steal your ideas. See what I'm saying? Look at this. Somebody come look at this. Wealthy man and main male. Okay, so there's a masculine energy who I feel like is a false person around you. Now, if you are a masculine, you could be dealing with a feminine energy who's going through this, or you could literally also have a masculine energy that's really like on your fucking dick, like all day, like trying to copy you and things like that, like only around you because you're popular or you have a good career and it's not really a true friend. What's this main female? Um, or this could be a feminine doing this to y'all too. I don't care whichever side take it, but distant horizons is here. So I feel like as a feminine energy, you guys have a lot of dreams, hopes, and aspirations. Yeah, and I feel like you're, you are you may feel like those dreams are a little bit far off. But I feel that you guys need to kind of give yourself a little bit of a break. If you have not been working very hard, this is you wanting something out of your career or your business. That, um, why the fuck is there an Argentina number calling me? Like, no. I think not. See, th this is something I feel that you, okay, if you're a feminine energy who's been working on your career or business, I feel like you were very distracted or you were being distracted by someone who was a blockage on your journey. They were probably a negative karmic attachment. And I feel like what you need to do right now, if you have not been working towards growth of your career, um, if you're in that energy this week, I feel like you definitely could have a lot of sudden wealth and success, 
but you have to start gathering your information. It's like you have to start doing the research with this courthouse card so that you won't be worried like when you find out like how much work goes into doing something. Okay, message of concern in courthouse. I feel like there could be some documents here that you could be finding or you could be finding out that you need more documents to start a business or to um, get something off the ground, okay? Because I feel like whatever you're dreaming about, like I said, if you're one of those people who have been procrastinating, you've been a little delusional about the work that needs to be put in. And I feel like now you're finding out how much work it takes and you need to start getting your shit together, okay? If you're already doing this, I feel like you guys maybe need to give yourself a little bit of credit because if you've already been doing this and you haven't been being lazy, I feel like you are so enthralled in trying to fulfill these dreams that, you know, you may not be seeing. It's like you feel like you haven't been doing anything or you feel like maybe the results that you're getting are not what you wanted, but I feel like you need to take stock of everywhere you've been and with this pathways card right here i feel like you need to take stock of how far you've come on your journey okay because i feel like you're moving forward from someone who tried to block you what's the what else is this main female okay unexpected income so yeah i do feel like there's some type of like dream that's about to come true something that you've been hoping for a lot of you are going to receive some type of financial assistance here and you know, I don't care if you're a masculine energy, this could definitely be you kind of vibrating on your feminine side right now. I swear, if these people do not stop, Cheryl, let me stop getting upset. Folks be literally like blowing my phone up for what? Nothing. Community and change. Some of you guys are moving. Um, Some of you guys might be getting served with some type of paperwork or documents or legal documents. Y'all could have to go to court or something like that. Maybe you've been ignoring it or you've been putting it off, but I feel like whatever this is, whatever information you're about to receive could be a bit concerning, but I feel like you just have to do your research to kind of ease your mind out of the situation. Yeah. And I feel like, I, I feel like some of you guys could literally be moving with that change or community. Like you could be, um, finding out that maybe your move in date has been pushed back. Um, or you could be finding out that you could possibly have to like, you know, turn in some more like paperwork before you're able to officially like get your keys. <coughs> but whatever you're needing, I feel like with this unexpected income, it's going to be given to you like the universe is going to grant it to you. It's going to come in pro probably right at the last minute. I also feel like some of you, if you work in like an office setting, there's a fake person at your job um, who I feel like knows that you're about to come into some money and they want to attach themselves to you. Okay. I feel like a lot of you guys are becoming more recognized in the community for whatever it is that you do. You're changing the community. A lot of you could be community activists, but overall it's like whatever that you're doing you have some um, fraudulent people around you. You know, I feel like you have some fraudulent people trying to attach themselves to you for what you have or the clout that you possess. And I also feel that, you know, it's causing you it, or somebody is trying to cause you to question yourself and question how far you've come. But that's why you need to see the magic here with this Labradorite to see like how beautiful life really is, regardless of whoever's like trying to come at you. What's this thief and journey? Because they're trying to block you on your journey. They're trying to like create blockages for you right now. But it's like the more that ooh, the more that they create these blockages, boom, sudden wealth and unexpected income, the more that your blessings come in. So we have engagement here. Okay, this could be somebody who you were married to or engaged to and meditation. Or this is someone who you were thinking about marrying. You were dating this person. You were happy to be with this person. But they turned out to be a blockage or they're turning out to be somebody who's creating blockages in your life. Um, they could have even proposed to you at one time. Maybe you felt like, you know, when everything was new and you had butterflies and puppy love that it was going to be okay. But this person is actually a blockage and a hindrance, you know, to your life. I feel like they've been thinking about maybe marrying you or, 
you know, settling down with you. I feel like this is more of a newer person in your life. But maybe it's been three years, you know, for some of you guys. But I feel like maybe this was somebody who swooped in and thought they were just going to come in like Captain save a and bullshit you around. You know what I mean? And I feel like a lot of you have overcome this person and you're moving on from this person. I feel like they're trying, if you have moved on from this person and you're not talking to them, they're really trying to like astral project. They're trying to meditate and like manifest you into their life. They're trying to manifest you to send them a message to engage with them. Um, some of some of you, you're you're still dealing with these people and they're all, they're creating current current blockages in your life. And they could even be like trying to propose to you or engage, be engaged to you so that they can keep you stuck. They just want to keep you in their like helm of bullshit. What's occupation, sudden wealth and false person? Some of you are getting some sudden wealth in your job. Okay, we have daughter. What else is this occupation, sudden wealth and false person? What is that guardian angel, please? Ooh, thank you, spirit. Okay, all right, here we go luxury okay one more can i get one more thank you so much journey again wow so daughter luxury and journey this could be your father for some of you guys for for some of you this is your mother a parent um some of you you're a daughter to this person some of you have a daughter with this person. I feel like if you have a daughter with this person who's trying to create these blockages or being a false person, trying to come around and act all nicey nice, uh, trying to act all cordial and shit, I feel like it's because um, maybe you have a daughter with this person and this person knows that you and your daughter are going to be living good. You're going to be living in luxury. Hell, you could even have just a, a child with this person. Listen, it doesn't have to be a daughter, but... You could just have a child with this person and they're just trying to be all nice and, you know, cordial and things. Yeah, ooh, expecting at the back and risk. Yeah, so it's like somebody's expecting to get something, so they're going to take a risk. I don't, I mean, this could be somebody who took a risk with someone and now someone else is pregnant, but I feel like that's only for some of you. I feel like this is more so about your career you guys this week and it's like you're really focused on your money and your finances and someone is expecting for you to grow like someone is expecting you to be very big okay and i feel like they um maybe they're gonna try to get you pregnant or they're gonna try to get pregnant by you or they're going to try to like lock you in somehow somebody's trying to lock you down and lock you in see look Family and proposal at the bottom. Look, family and proposal and then karmic partnership is right after that. This could also be a parent, okay? A mother or a father who sees you about to live in luxury and they're they're false, they're fake. I feel like if it's, it, it might be your mother actually is more so what I'm getting for some of you guys. And there was a tumultuous mother and daughter situation, okay? But this person is fake. They're only coming around because they see where you're going on your journey and you're headed towards luxury. Okay, what's main female and unexpected income, distant horizons? What's that? Main female, unexpected income, distant horizons. Risk, again. So some of you guys took a risk with your business or your finances and it's about to pay off. Like, maybe you got into the stock market. Maybe your ass did the lottery, went to the casino, did a scratch off, but it's about to pay off. Yep. And somebody, it's like somebody risked their, somebody risked their opportunity with you by betraying you. And now you're about to come into some money and I feel like they're going to be sniffing around. Can I get one more? Thank you, guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Thank you, Father, Mother, God, for all of your messages. Yeah, crossroads. And it's going to cause you to be indecisive. Somebody's literally coming in trying to confuse you guys. Yes. Oh, my God. Come on. About to ruin shit for you or try to ruin shit for you. They're clearly trying to ruin shit for you with this crystals card. But I feel like you have protective crystals around you. You got your black tourmaline. You got your tiger's eye. You got whatever, you know, your quartz, whatever you need to cleanse your energy. You have that and you can see that this person, you already know their game. You are, you already know 
that they're going to try to come in and ruin something. And then they're going to be trying to celebrate that they ruined your opportunity here. Like it, it might not even, it, it might not even come off like this person is like strategically just trying to ruin your shit like that. I want to ruin you. No, they're going to come in like, oh, I love you. I want to be with you. Let's get married and have a baby because they know they're going to ruin your opportunity to be with someone who really gives a fuck about you. It's a spell. It's, it's manipulation. And I feel like you see it very, very clearly. Okay. They risk their chance with you before by being indecisive and betraying you, possibly dealing with other people, taking on other options when you were their really only option and they knew it, but they still wanted to do what they wanted to do. They didn't really care about, you know, how you felt about it, even though you told this person how you felt and they still were acting all funky and shit. So it's like, okay, well, bitch, you know, sorry, you missed the boat. Okay. What else can you tell me about this for this week? Oh, wow. Okay. See what I'm saying? You missed the boat. Leaving it behind. Leaving behind the past. Caught up. Someone's actions are catching up to them. Yeah. So someone I feel like is leaving the past behind because it's just not, it's just not working for this person. Now, this could be the person who tried to play you and they're leaving someone else that they were dealing with instead of you in the past because now their stupidity is catching up to them. Um... But I feel like somebody, you just, you you know, I just feel like somebody was very like, un dis, somebody was unloyal. No, disloyal. Somebody was disloyal here. They were very um, flighty, like very unpredictable. Um, and now it's like their fast life is catching up to them. I feel like they could be going to take a flight or something like that. This could be a person in a different city, state or zip code. But yeah, they did, their desires are catching up to them. What they really want is catching up to them behind the scenes. And they don't know what the fuck to do. And I told you they were communicating with you in spirit. This person is trying to manifest you in by thinking about you all the time. I knew it with this meditation card. They're thinking about talking to you all the time. They're wanting you to be the one to do it. Um, and this could happen maybe around Christmas. Yeah, or Halloween. Oh, shit. Between these, between October and September, oh shit, October and September. What am I talking about? Some of y'all, it could have already happened in September. Some of you guys, it could be happening anywhere from October to December. And I feel like it's because this person, they, they see you blowing up, period. Somebody sees you blowing up. And I feel like you're getting too far away from this person and they don't like it, but they know that they took a risk by betraying you. And now it's like they don't know what to do. What else? What else do you want to show me? Yeah, their actions are blackmailing them. No one's blackmailing them. Someone's being blackmailed by their actions catching up to them. And how they left you behind. They left you behind. Yeah, and it's creating blockages now. Because now they desire you and their actions are catching up to them. This person is upset. I also feel like you guys are leaving your past behind. Okay, I feel like, you know, sometimes when we have deja vu, it feels like we've been there before. And I look at deja vu sometimes as a way like that our spirit is confirming to us that we're in the right place at the right time. So I feel like some of you guys have been getting a lot of deja vu yet lately. I, I was about to say yesterday. So some of y'all could have had deja vu on Sunday, the 19th. Okay, a lot. Because I feel like you're actually catching up with your spirit. Okay. I feel like you're catching up with your spirit. Okay. Yeah. And it's like, you're, listen, I feel like you're feeling very inspired and you're not really letting a lot of people know how you feel. Just like there's someone else whose blockages are catching up to them. Their karma is catching up to them for how they treated you. You're catching up to your destiny and they're catching up to their karma. Okay. And it's creating blockages in their life. Some of you guys do feel blocked right now from what you really want. You could feel like your inspiration is blocked right now, but you're trying to save face. It's like behind the scenes, you're keeping it all inside or you're like just trying to handle everything behind the scenes. You're not trying to make a big deal about it. You're not trying to get all upset. Yeah. Someone is very, Ooh, child. Someone is very obsessed with you and you are no longer obsessed with them. So it's like whatever they're sending you mentally, like through your dreams, they, yeah, they, it's not getting through. Yeah. And they're super insecure. I feel like um, you could also be insecure because things are slowing down, maybe in your business. Maybe you feel like you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, but I don't think that's what it is. Yeah, I just feel like you have to just continue to manifest what it is that you want. 
through your spirit and through your actions. You have to manifest your way out of the blockages. Just because you feel like you're blocked in your work or your business doesn't mean you stop because you're right on the precipice of a breakthrough. You guys are right on the edge of a breakthrough with this sudden wealth and unexpected income. You're about to have a dream come true. And I feel that I feel that whatever this doubt is, whatever this person who came and tried to steal your joy at one point or another or several people, uh, for some of you, it's anywhere from one to three people or more. I feel like they created this mentality where when you get down or when things slow down, they, you know, made you feel like you should be discouraged or you should stop doing what you're doing. And I feel like what your spirit guides are trying to tell you right now is that downtime is good. And sometimes you're not going to always just be ripping and running. You're not always going to be on top. So you use that time in those downtime moments to get yourself acclimated and to continue to manifest your way through all of those blockages. You know, that's how you, you know, get, that's how you come out strong. That's how you come out on top, you guys. So I feel that's what y'all are doing. Yeah, and I told you, y'all are keeping it inside. Y'all are keeping it inside. You don't want to act like you're pressed, okay? But this is about your career. Um, and I just feel like you just need to continue to maybe manifest in secret. Let people know that you're not going to give up, but also like get yourself together. Yeah, relax, rejuvenate, rest. Maybe smoke you a little blizzardy blunt. You know what I'm saying? Take a load off. Have you a drink? Yeah, because you're about to have a new job. That's why you have this downtime right now. Because there's something that's about to come in for you. Because relax. Because relax. Because, 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 because no. Like stress? No. That's a no. Why? Because no. You don't see this. You don't see behind the scenes that someone is very inspired by you and they are about to move and do something in your favor. I, like whatever rooms that you're in. Yeah, it's, uh, ooh, child. And somebody's going through some type of addictions. Somebody is insecure because you're manifesting all of these dreams, goals, and aspirations and they left you behind. Now they looking like boo-boo the motherfucking fool. I'm telling you, I'm not even trying to be funny. What else? Can I get one more card, please? Finish this roll, this little section. I told you the grass was fake. I seen that shit earlier. Damn. Somebody real mad, <laughs> confused. There's always that one person that will always have your heart. I didn't even see the stuck in the past card. All I saw was confusion and I heard um, Usher and Alicia Keys. They never see it coming because you're blinded from the start. Know that you're that one for me for everyone to see you see the wind start blowing oh baby oh you will always be my boo okay but look at what it is yeah now they're confused because now you're getting that money come on now if this hasn't happened to you yet it's about to and somebody's about to come in and try to bulldoze all through your shit <laughs> Like you don't know what the fuck is going on. Don't let them play you like a motherfucking fool. I'm just I'm just saying. I really don't think this person is a factor. They are literally a non-factor. But what I'm telling y'all. Don't get caught in the hype. Okay. Don't get caught in the hype. Because there's always that one person. That will always have your heart. I feel like you know. You know this. You know, you know that this person will always be in your heart. And you may be conflicted about it. Or you may feel irritated by it. But. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, just get to a point where you can say, you know what? We had a good run. We had fun, you know, for the most part until it wasn't fun. And now we're going to go off and do our own thing. Or at least you are collective. Collective. Yeah, and I feel like now is not the time to, you know, lose your shit because things are slowing down. I feel like you took some um, creative risks or you took some financial risks that are going to pay off when it comes to your career, your finances, or your business, okay? What is the major message for my collective this week? What is going on with them? What do they need to see or know, guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors? Thank you for your love and your support. Oh my God, that is a whole stack, my G. My G! Spirit, can I just, okay, they're, they're like, but we gave it to you. Oh my God, that's too much. It's not too much. So y'all feel like something that's, 
Huh. Y'all, I feel like there's something that you guys are doing that you feel like is too much. But with the King of Pentacles coming out first here, I feel like you have all the tools. Look at all them tools. You got all the tools that you need, whether you're masculine or feminine. I feel like you have everything you need to handle this. You have the three of swords, okay? But I feel like there's some past pain that could be making you feel inadequacy. Um, you guys are either moving on from that this week or you're needing to move forward from that with the Wheel of Fortune. Because I feel like there's a contract, a decision, an agreement, a new job, a new house, a new opportunity, a business proposition. Something that's coming towards you with this lover's card. I feel like the time is now. Temperance, not temperance, shit. I mean, the patience card. You've been being very patient. But I feel like the time is now, you guys. The time is now for this to come through. And it's like, it's your turn to be on top of the wheel. And I feel like it's because a lot of you are not here yet. But for those of you who are already here, it's because you, you strapped on your boots and you healed your heart, okay? You healed your heart and you continue to move forward. You continue to explore with this Knight of Wands. You continue to find yourself and figure out who you are. Okay, yeah, Eight of Wands. See what I'm saying? You continue to explore yourself and figure out who you are. Um, you did not lay down and die somewhere in a ditch after you were heartbroken. You got up. Some of you guys did move, okay, to a new community, a new city, state, or zip code. And I feel like that caused you a lot of new inspiration. It caused you a lot of, um, like, opening up of, like, maybe your crown chakra, okay? King of Swords is here as well. So I feel like you know that someone is going to want to communicate with you because of this now. Um, you know that because you're moving forward, there's a lot of people coming in. I feel like you guys have a lot of suitors as well. Or there's one person. I, I kind of hesitated to say that because for some of you, you know that lovers are going to come in. They might not be here right now. And for some of you, you have literally started seeing people become attracted to you very quickly. Okay. I feel like Cupid's arrows are flowing in because you moved on from the heartbreak. You started healing your energy. You healed from this heartbreak and you moved forward. Okay. And sometimes you didn't feel like doing it. Sometimes you didn't want to do it. Sometimes you lost hope and you were a little bit depressed. And I feel like you kind of like held back a lot from, you know, maybe things that you used to enjoy. And I feel like you're coming out of that energy. Yeah, with the Ten of Swords right here. I feel like you're starting to, you know, continue to do the things that you enjoy to do. Yeah, it's like you're working on your craft. You're showcasing your skills, talents, and abilities. And it's like you know you have this new job coming. Some of y'all have already gotten the go-ahead. Some of you guys may need to do a background check, okay? Seven of Swords. You still need to do a background check. And maybe you're not sure if they're going to want to work to you. But I see with the Six of Pentacles here, they're going to give to this. They're going to want to give to this situation. They're going to want to invest in you, invest in what you have going on. Um, some of you guys, there's someone here who was married already, caused you a lot of pain and heartbreak. You moved on from this person. They moved on from you. And I feel like once you moved on or once you move on, they're going to come in and try to like have this lover's energy I feel like it was just about sex for this person. They was really on some ball head hoe shit. Um, they were really slick with their communication, sly, cunning, manipulative with this king of swords. And I feel like they gave you a lot of like false hope and then never came through. They never fulfilled it. They held back. They betrayed you and caused you a lot of pain. And it's like they breadcrumbed you and they were acting like a sneaky ass bitch, okay? And it's like they always kept you waiting on them. This is the person that's going to come in when you get this new job. I'm just letting you know. Look at this, Ace of Pentacles. Come on now. What did I just say? This person is waiting for you to get this opportunity so that they could come in and ruin it. They, they're not going to... This person might not even know that their spirit is doing this. But this is what the fuck their spirit is doing. That Because they're confused. Ooh... They're confused because they're confused and then sad man is right under that because they're confused at the way that your life is going to progress with that cash flow. OK, they're sad. OK, they thought you were going to be sad, but no, now they're the one who's upset. So it's like spiritually, because they vibrate in that low vibrational energy, they're going to try to do something to say, oh, I'm going to win back collective. But really, they're going to ruin your shit. OK, because I feel like the community is looking at you in a very positive way. 
Um, I feel like this week is going to about be, this week is a week about having hope. This week is a week about um, like relentlessly pursuing your dreams, you guys. And making sure that you monitor your energy, how much you, energy you give out. And if there's a situation where someone is not returning that favor, um, separate. It's time to separate. I don't give a damn if they feel this is hurt, collective. I don't care. Okay? I don't care. And I'm sorry. I'm not trying. I'm not here for them. I'm here for y'all. And what I'm saying is, yeah, look, again, the three of wands. And what I'm saying is, you can't allow people that make you wait determine what is going to happen in your life. Yeah, you have to take control of whatever is going on. It's like, that's what spirit is telling me. Like, it's okay. When I just said, I don't care, I'm reading for you. This is spirit's confirmation saying, yes, play the game. You get what I'm saying? Like, tell collective to go ahead and get their strategy up so that they can be seen and recognized. Stop acting like just because right now... You, you may be slow in your business or whatever. Just stop acting like just because right now it's not going to pick up. Get out of that fucking mentality because it's going to you're going to stay there for even longer. If you don't change the way you think, you literally have to manifest your way out of it. OK, and what I mean by that is like the same way that you feel when you're up. You have to keep saying those same things to yourself when you're down. OK, can I get one more card? Thank you. Five of Pentacles. Oh, my God. Three of Wands emperor and then the five of pentacles it's like i feel like you're swiping the emperor out the way okay swipe or no swiping yeah it's like you're not letting somebody come in and swipe in and out of your life i feel like somebody's on the outside looking in but i literally feel like they're already married with this emperor and this king of pentacles and the girl got a wedding dress on how the hell is she going to be looking at somebody else and she already got the wedding dress on? That that shit, that gets me every time. So this week is all about your strategy, you guys. It's all about, it's, it's all about your strategy because you're going to be presented with an opportunity that is going to be up to you of how you handle it because the risk that you take could definitely yield you a lot of results. But if you're in this ho-hum melancholy woe is me type of energy because things aren't picking up right now then this opportunity is going to be missed by you okay yeah page of cups at the bottom and the two of wands at the back i feel like this is saying make a decision to be yourself make a decision to live in your truth make a decision to discover whatever life yeah make a dis make a decision to discover whatever life has in store for you like, don't just, don't just, you know, take scraps because you're scared. Don't just settle for mediocrity because you feel like that's the best that you can get. Don't just settle for it because you feel like that's all that's coming to you. Yeah, because the scales are about to be balanced out. Justice just flew out. So the scales are really about to be balanced out here. It's your time to be on top of the wheel. Okay, so signs that I see are Aquarius, Gemini, Aries. Aquarius, Gemini, and Aries. Maybe Scorpio, but not really. Um, and I just feel like... This is crazy. I feel like somebody gave you a lot of false hope and they like played with your mind. They gave you false hope and they came in like rushing in, like love bombing. And then the next minute, like they calculated like strategically when they were going to pull back from you so that they could breadcrumb you. This person is probably overseas or they're in a different city, state, or zip code. Or since you stopped talking to them, they moved, okay? So you need to be in the mindset. The spell you need to be putting yourself under is justice, okay? By the power of three by three, Maya delivered justice to me. You have to understand that you're going to be on top of the wheel. You have to know it without a shadow of a doubt without any question in your heart that things are going to come through for you because I see that they are, but it's about it. They're going to come through for you when, when you believe that they will. Okay. Cause everybody wants to know when, 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 well, whenever you fucking snap out of the bullshit. Okay. Can I get one more for the spell that my collective needs to put themselves under today? God, please. Oh my goodness. Okay. We have two. So with, with this person who I'm talking about, you made the best possible decision. You need to, reside 
permanently in that energy, okay? It says, Artemis, goddess of the bow, helps help me see what must be known. What must be known, what, what you need to see is that you made the right decision and magical powers because you have powers. Another number 24 card, which says you have magical powers that are, one, getting stronger, and number two, guiding you away from whatever that energy was because they were literally stealing your energy. They were blocking you on your journey. I weave, I clear, I cast, I know. Magic secrets to me now show. It's done. And a lot of you guys, to be honest, I feel like you already know it's done. We have friendship at the bottom. So this could have been a platonic friend. For a lot of you, I see a mother figure or possibly a father figure. And for a lot of you guys, this is someone romantic who was just acting this way towards you. Like if it was a friend, they would want you to go places with them. But then when it was time for you to do something, they act like they was never available. Okay. Peace is at the back of the deck. So have peace. Have peace in your decisions. Have peace in your thoughts. Have peace in your journey. To understand that you're in the right place, you guys. I really feel like I didn't even have to do this reading. I, I just feel like you guys could definitely be... Some of you guys, could. this is a new person coming in and they're just like distracting you. And I feel like some of you are planning on breaking it off with this person. Because they're kind of irritating you. I feel like you have several people who you're talking to. I feel like you give a little bit of energy here. You get a, give a little bit of energy there. I feel like you guys are mingling. I feel like y'all could be talking to a few people at once. You're dating, okay? But I also feel like if there's anyone from the past who did this to you, or if there's anyone currently who you're getting that same energy from that reminds you of somebody in your past, you're done with that shit. Finito, bitch, okay? Y'all get your questions ready. Y'all know I pull one card and then I read the bottom and the back of the deck. Guardian Angels, what is the most accurate answer to my collective's question for this week, God? Thank you. Perfect timing. See? Temperance and Wheel of Fortune. It's like you've been waiting long enough. Now is the perfect time. I'm going to give y'all one more. Pause the video if you need to. What's one more most important answer to my collective's question today? What is one more? Thank you. Ooh, unlikely, okay? So I don't know what y'all were asking, but it's unlikely that anybody from your past is gonna have perfect timing because I just feel like they're full of shit, okay? But we have abundance at the bottom of the deck, and then we have be assertive at the back of the deck, okay? So I feel like that's spirit's giving you to go ahead to take control. Spirit's giving you to go ahead to come up with a strategy, Spirit's giving you to go ahead to embrace this recognition that's coming your way, not to be a, you know, asshole and be prideful, but to embrace it so that you can, you know, live your best motherfucking life. Cause that's what I'm damn doing. I'm telling y'all I've been outside. Okay. I've been outside. I've been outside. When I tell y'all ladies, ladies, my ladies, I've been outside boo. Okay. And it's good out there. Okay. It's good. You just got to you got to sift. You got to sift through the bullshit. But it's good out there, all right? I love y'all. I hope you liked the video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe as always. Stick to the positivity today and every day be blessed. And don't let these motherfuckers steal your joy. Bye.